Leanne Jones on the floor cleaner this time. Let's go, this is the last zone in your complete or in your pure bundle. So we have our trusty floor cleaner. Now I forgot to mention in previous videos that this actual pole comes out and attaches to your window cleaner, also attaches to your flexi. So if you would wish to get to high windows, this actually can go on the end. Please just look at the online YouTube video on how to attach your floor cleaner pole to your window cleaner. It also attaches to your dust flexi uh, so that you can extend to 1.8 metres and get up to really high ceilings. So it comes in two parts. It's a floppy moppy. It's not broken when you get it. This is how it's designed to come. Okay? So to assemble this, you just pop this down on the floor. You push down the collar and so it's standing upright. You get your pole and you push in and you twist until it clicks. Okay? And now that's in place. Put your fibre on. We're going to use the dust floor fibre first. This replaces your vacuum cleaner on hard floors. It does actually a better job and it's four times faster than vacuuming. Um, so again, don't wash this all the time. Just shake it out. Back it or slap it when it's dirty. But it'll pick up all of Felicia's hair, <laughs> any dog hair or human hair. And it's amazing and believe you couldn't live without it. So <laughs> Three think, times a day. I think that she would uh, die without it but anyway. Uh... <laughs> All right, so we just drop this down, no bending allowed. This is designed ergonomically for your back. Pick up your floor cleaner, push down and press close. That's now locked in place. To drive it, it looks a little bit short, doesn't it? So it's adjustable. To drive it, we need to lift this collar up into drive position. So this is drive, it only has two gears. There's park and drive. And when you push it down too hard, it takes a little while to get up. Park and drive. Okay, so when it's in drive position, when you put your foot on the flat fiber like that, you twist it, lefty loosey, to the tip of your nose, righty tighty. Okay, and that's now the right height for you. And the way that we clean our floors is we do it exactly opposite to what you used to. This is what we're used to doing, yeah? Oh, right, don't do that. We want to stand up tall, make sure you've got your straight back going on. We're going to have our weak arm high. So I'm a right hander, so my right hand's going to go very low and my weak arm's going to go high. And this doesn't become a driving tool, this becomes just a counterbalance for my right. So we're pushing the floor cleaner into our weak hand. So we're driving from the bottom, what that does is turn your core on and it becomes ergonomic for your body and actually you can burn 243 calories when you wash your floors. That's good. Well, we all need to do that. All right, so just like this and we do figure eight motion so you can see me using my legs so please use your legs to shift your weight and i'm driving totally from the bottom and as you can see my left hand is not doing any work so when you're pushing you can walk forward you have to push the i'm going to pick up this bit of fluff down here so you can see so you'll see there i've picked up a, a thread from my dog's chew toy <laughs> Okay, so if I'm pushing, I want to push this way. And if I'm pulling, I have to turn it round and come backwards so that, that, that I'm collecting all the dust with you. So it's a real figure eight and I'm hardly, I'm actually using two fingers. So it's not much effort at all. I'm not pushing down on the fibre so it's really easy. To do my floor space, which is quite large, it takes me about five minutes, if that. Okay, so I can go, when you do edges, just walk around the edges. So you do need to do this before you actually mop and I'm just doing this area for you to show you that even though my floor doesn't look that dirty, it actually is. We'll just go up here a little bit to collect a bit of dust. So when I go along here, I just do the edge first. When you go to a corner, go, don't go into the corner, turn it around, pull in the corner and pull out from the corner. And then do the edges and when you're in a narrow area, come back through the middle turn around and do sideways, not, not long ways, and have a look now at what I've collected in that very short time. So have a look at this, and that's why I love the Enyo floor cleaner. So all of that, I this is how I do it. I go take it over to here, I just pop my fibre down on top of all the dirt, I close it off, I press open, I stand on two inches of my floor cleaner, I lift it out, and then I actually pick up all of the junk in my fibre like that and this little bit of dust that's left behind I use my duster buster or my um, dust and vacuum and I go and shake this outside out my laundry door so that's the way I do it you can choose whichever way you do it you can actually back this whole thing off if you like and just um, yeah, back it or slap it so I'll just leave this one here 
and I'll deal with that later. Actually, Linda, follow me. We'll just go outside and I'll show you what happens when you take it outside. I might go over this way, just so it doesn't go in the pool area. So when you shake it, you'll see there, make sure it doesn't blow back in your house. And now, look, it's ready to use again. Perfect. Right. At least the sun is shining. All right, to mop your floor. So now you've just swept all the dirt, dirt and yuck up to mop your floor. This is called the matte floor fibre. Suits my floors perfectly. Actually, any fibre suits my floors because I chose the seal on this floor to make sure any fibre would suit it. Um, but you know what? If you've got shiny floors or you've got fussy floors, just use the other fibre. It's all okay. good. If you've got slate, if you've got an extreme floor fibre, it'll give you a deep clean as well. Give your floor fibre a spray with water. Don't worry about winning it under the tap. No more buckets, no more mops, no more taps. Yeah? Spray it. Drop it down. Do the same action I did before. Just push down. It's already adjusted to my height. Press close and lift to start cleaning. Turn your spray bottle onto a weapon. If you've got kids around, I love it. Right? And then spray your floor ahead. Like so, with water, and I know that I spilled a whole bottle of replenish on here yesterday, and I didn't mop it up, so I know it needs a mop. <laughs> uh, right. Give it a um, water, so you can pop your spray bottle in your pocket, and then you've got to walk back through the water because we want to be walking away. So the same action that we just used, and I don't know whether you can see the dirt marks. Can you, Linda? Can you see any dirt marks? Uh, there's not really. like a whole heap just here. If you want to zoom in, I'm just down here. You'll see there, okay. there's, yep. there's dirty marks on the floor. Yep. So I'll just go over these. Now the longer the water stays on the floor, the easier it's going to be to clean them up. But it didn't need very much at all because they've already gone. Yep, they're gone. They're gone. There's so, big ones over there. So I'm just going to fix up my mess from yesterday because I didn't have time. Yesterday was my day off and I wasn't cleaning no matter who it was. <laughs> Isn't that great? I had Monday off. Mind you, I did work on the weekend. Alright, so that's basically how you clean your floor and you just let the air do the rest of the work. But as you walk away, just walk away and have a sit down for a minute. This will be dry in no time at all because we didn't use very much water. Thank you.